Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we're going to talk about the best trail slash enduro mountain bike front tires. This is going to be a two-part series, front tires first and rear tires second. Let's get into it. Well, given the amount of front tire options there are out there, when you're trying to decide which tire you need for your bike or which one you want to try out next, uh, pretty damn confusing. Whenever I talk about front tires and try and explain where they're good in certain areas and not other areas and talk about which ones I like, kind of makes me feel like Kevin from The Office. So me think, why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. It's just a confusing topic. Um, I think a lot of front tires is personal preference and sort of placebo effect and what you think in your head. So we're going to talk about some of the absolute most popular ones that we sell that uh, a bunch of the staff here uses, a bunch of our friends use, and uh, really just the ones that we see on the most bikes out there on the trail in different areas of the country. Um, I would say to start off this video, you know, most popular tire probably for ages running now in terms of like an enduro slash trail slash even downhill front tire is a Maxxis Minion DHF. So this thing's absolutely amazing. It comes in a bunch of different sizes, um, some different casing options as well. Casing is a good thing to consider. More important on rear tires because uh, rear tires sort of tear sidewalls more often. So look for part two of this video to learn more about durability and how that factors in with weight on your rear tire. But front casing is not quite as important, but it still does matter if you are the person who does destroy tires more often than not. Not, um, look for things that have tough casing like WTB calls it or double down casing like Maxxis calls it. Uh, I'm not sure what Schwalbe calls it or E13, but <laughs> have fun digging around on the internet trying to figure it out. Uh, link below in the video description that goes to a blog post that'll break this down a little bit more so you can see it visually and look at the different weights and price points um, and the different sort of terminology that all these different brands use when it comes to casing um, and TPI and all that sort of stuff when it regards to their tires. Um, Maxxis Minion DHF, this is one of the all time most popular front tires that gets spec'd on a ton of trail slash enduro mountain bikes and it just works amazing. And I think the reason why people like it so much is because it really does just have a lot of traction. It's a very grippy front tire. Um, it works in a lot of conditions. I wouldn't say it's the best mud tire by any means. I think the Schwalbe Magic Mary would probably do better in a more muddy situation. Um, even the Maxxis Minion DHR2 would do a little bit better in a muddy situation and the WTB Vigilante. Um, but if you're not riding mud and you're riding sort of a little bit of mud but mostly dry terrain, um, DHF sort of takes the cake and it's just one of the most all-time popular tires um, because of traction, I think. And obviously it's not a very heavy tire either, um, so it kind of really hits like the good value in terms of how much it costs, how much traction it provides, and how heavy it is. Uh, extremely popular rear tire. We just compared these two tires in terms of a front tire, uh, the DHF versus the DHR2. Uh, pretty funny video. I recommend you going and watching that because I really dove into uh, sort of the psychology behind thinking about front tires and also interviewed some of the guys around the shop and sort of what their preference was and which one they liked the best. Um, but to talk about that, um, DHR2 is another really popular front tire. Uh, Greg Minar, professional downhill racer and probably one of the greatest mountain bikers of all time, at least that I can think of. Um, he won the South Africa Downhill World Cup using this as a front tire. Originally, sort of the DHF, DHR was like a front and rear thing. Some people think it was free ride versus race. Nobody will ever know. Um, anyways, DHR2 works really good for front tire. I actually prefer it to the DHF because it's a little bit lighter when you just compare the same sizes, like 2.4 versus 2.4. Um, or actually, I think the DHF is only 2.5, 2.3, and then this is 2.4. But I love this 2.4 on the front of my bike. I kind of keep that there, whether I'm on sort of an enduro -y bike or more of a trail bike. Um, DHR2 is just sort of my favorite front tire. I think it's a little more versatile in terms of rolling resistance and clearing mud and just hooking up. But again, when you compare these together, uh, you got to watch our other video because <laughs> It is really hard to talk about which one works better. Um, to finish off with Maxxis in terms of really cool front tires, the Asagai, Asagai, Asagi, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right when it's Asagai. Um, this is currently only available in downhill casing and it's uh, an army tank of a tire at like th just over 1300 grams uh, for the 29er size that is. But this thing, there is rumor that they are gonna start making this in sort of more traditional casings, the Enduro casing, the double down casing, the regular EXO casing. Um, so Greg Minar, same guy I just mentioned who won the South Africa World Cup on this tire, he spent all this time custom designing this tire and really their focus was just purely on traction. They weren't necessarily going for um, rolling resistance or anything else. They just wanted like a good durable tire that was gonna win World Cup downhill races. Um, and if it wins a World Cup downhill race, then you can sure bet it's gonna have a lot of traction and work good for you. So 
I'm really excited to see this tire when it comes out and the different casing options. By the time you're watching this video, maybe it already is, but um, search around. I'm sure you'll hear from us, at least on our social media, when this thing is available in enduro casings, because I have a feeling this thing is going to be amazing on your trail slash enduro bike, because on a downhill bike, um, it's incredible the amount of traction it provides and still does roll really fast. Um, good sort of combination between the DHR2 and the Maxxis Shorty, and the Shorty's more of like a mud tire from Maxxis, um, which is a great front tire if you're riding just sort of purely wet mud stuff. Um, some other brands other than Maxxis, uh, WTB, this is probably my second go-to tire for sure. If I wasn't riding a DHR2 on the front of my bike, I'd be running a WTB Vigilante, 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 -te? Vigilante. So this tire from WTB, I think it's pretty phenomenal, uh, super high corner lugs, and it's pretty spaced out as far as the tread pattern goes, so it definitely does clear mud well. Really good versatile tire that's going to work good in wet conditions and dry conditions and just dig deep into soft soil. Um, one of my all-time favorite tires from WTB, especially for the front that I really enjoy. Uh, E13. I don't even know the naming conventions of their tires. It's super confusing. Um, TRS, but I think they're sort of changing the naming at some point here. Um, these ones are pretty cool. Either team does a really good job at sort of meshing their tires with their rims. They even line up the logos and then they bead really well and really easily if you do pair them with their rims. Um, pretty low center lug, so it's a fast rolling tire, uh, but really nice, good high corner lug. So super grippy, good soft rubber tire that also is pretty thick and heavy, but very durable um, to go with it. So all these tires, when you're talking about durability, um, that goes hand in hand with weight. So the thicker the casing, the stronger the tire is going to be, the more impervious it's going to be to um, tearing the sidewall or getting any type of hole anywhere on the tire. Um, the thicker it is, the heavier it's going to be. So popular tires from Schwalbe, couldn't forget them. Uh, they're obviously a huge tire brand as well. Magic Mary, um, that's a super popular tire on a downhill bike. A lot of people are also using it on a trail slash enduro bike. Uh, really good in loose conditions and really softer soil. We did a video comparing the DHF versus the Magic Mary where I sort of broke that down, but sort of the end all be all there to me in my opinion was DHF is the best all around tire um, for just versatility reasons. Uh, whereas the Magic Mary kind of, I don't know, I don't really like how it feels corner wise on like really dry and hard pack stuff. But if you're not in dry and hard pack, the Magic Mary really excels if you're in sort of softer good soil um, or loam, the Magic Mary is phenomenal for that stuff. Um, and then the Nobby Nick, that's another really popular tire from Schwalbe. Um, that's probably more commonly seen on a trail bike or even a front of a cross country bike rather than an enduro bike. Um, but another awesome you know, choice from Schwalbe. So front tires, again, very terrain dependent, very personal preference. Um, in my opinion, kind of placebo effect in your head of what has good grip and what doesn't. And it's really hard to compare which tire works good because you put a new one on and it seems so much better than the last one, but your last one probably wasn't brand new. It was probably one you'd been using for three months and the rubber deteriorated and it wore out and then you just got a fresh tire and maybe any fresh tire would have felt that much better. So they're just a hard thing to test um, for, you know, if you don't just keep doing like a scientific experiment on the exact same trail with the same bike with all these different brand new tires would probably be the best way to really understand it. But again, boils back to personal preference and riding style and all of that. Speaking of which, we're going to dive around the shop and ask some of the guys here what their favorite front tire is and what they're running right now. Mr. Alex Knott, yeah. on an enduro bike, what is your favorite front tire? Uh, definitely a Vigilante. Two point five. Really? Absolutely. Vigilante all the way. That's a WTB for those that didn't know. Yeah. Cool. Or as some say, Vigilante. Oh, did you just say this whole thing? Because I once got made fun of for saying Vigilante over Vigilante. Vigilante, because you know they say Batman is a rogue Vigilante. You know, have you ever seen those movies? No, we're getting a little off topic here. <laughs> WTB Vigilante, Alex Knott's favorite front tire. The best. Liam Woods. Yep. Just right. a man I wanted to see. Cool. Favorite front tire for an enduro bike. Do I have to pick one? Can I, mean, I not really? You can say whatever you want. Go ahead. It's free country. Number one, 2.3 Vigilante. Those are all mine. Stack of WTB tires right there? Yeah, all two threes. All right. Uh, number two, DHR2, two, two four. And I'm getting a little warmed up to the ass guy. But Ooh. I don't know yet. I like that thing. Yeah. I rode it on your bike recently, and I think that tire is amazing. It is really good in our conditions we have, but I don't know about dry yet. That's so that's up in the air. Yeah. 2.3 Vigilante. Valid point. We'll see how this thing rolls out once the dirt is actually slippery and loose and dry again. Thanks, Willie. Peace out. Brady. Yeah. Charles. Pause your game, bro. <laughs> 
favorite front tire for an enduro bike? And I'll be Nick. Really? Yeah. Wow. Chan Seeley? Yeah. What do you, you can eat, you can drink that ranch if you want. Mm -mm. <laughs> favorite front tire for an enduro bike? Uh, two four vigilante. Wow, that's getting a lot more love than I thought it would. Over like, over minions? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah. Cool. That's what I've been running lately, and I really like it. Pringle Man, also known as Jordan Pruder. Yes. Favorite front tire for an enduro bike? These uh, minion DHR twos look pretty nice, <laughs> but I think I'd go with these aggressors. Aggress the front. Aggressor on the front. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Can I have one of those croutons? Of course. Oh. Patrick. Favorite front tire for an enduro bike? Uh, DHF 2.5. What is this? I'm sick. It's emergency. You want some? No. <laughs> Charlie. From Industry 9, all the way from North Carolina. Former Maxis employee. Live now where there's mud instead of just dust like we ride in. Mm -hmm. Favorite front tire for an enduro bike? Probably a DHF 2.5 as well, or the new Asa guy. Mm, it is good. That's but good. how do those both clear mud where you live? They don't, nothing does. We just go through it. <laughs> what is, if it's that, that muddy, you use a shorty. Yeah, true. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes, sir. Farva! Yeah. Also known as Michael like B, but I call on. him Farva. It's really cold here these days. So, yeah. Favorite we'll... enduro bike front tire? Don't touch my pizza. Can I have a just a bite real quick? Just yeah. One bite. Go ahead. You don't get your greasy hands all over my Favorite desk either. Favorite enduro bike front tire? Yeah, so uh, I like the DHF. DHF guy, because it stands for front. Um, thinking about switching to the ass guy, but I'm, I'm an ass man, like Cosmo Kramer. As you know, he's the ass man. Hey, I'm Cosmo Kramer, the ass man. <laughs> so I'm gonna rebrand it into the ass man and just run that front and back. You know, back, because it's, yeah, you get, you get the story. I'm an ass man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dominic? Yes, sir. Favorite enduro bike front tire? Mmm, it's a tough one. Continental Grand Prix. <laughs> More importantly, what happened to your chin? Yeah, that's what I said. Shake and bake. Oh. Jared. How's it going? Here we go. Yeah. Jared Erickson. Cheers. Favorite enduro bike front tire? Vigilante 2.6. Wow. Oh, 2.6? Uh, high grip. High grip? High grip. Are you sure 2.6, not a 2.3 or 2.5? Bigger's better. Yeah. Were you the guy who got really confused on the DHR DHF video last time? Maybe. Okay. Here's the thing. It's not even really my favorite tire, those DHF, DHR, whatever you want to call it. The WTB is. WTB. Wow. Bar none. Just like the grip. Like the grip, like the tread design, the rubber compound, you name it. Zach, what's your favorite enduro tire to put on the front of a dirt jump bike? Dirt, what's a dirt jump bike? Uh, I'd just go DHR. Why would you put that on a dirt jump bike? Because I don't ride dirt jump bikes. What's your favorite enduro tire for an enduro bike? DHR 2. 2.4. 2.4? 2.4. Excuse me. Here, excuse. Big Al? Uh, favorite front tire for an enduro bike? Oh, enduro. I only ride road. But I'd say, I'd say probably a Maxxis Aggressor up front. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I don't know. It's great. Can I go back to eat? Scott. Yeah, you thought you were going to slide out of this one, didn't you? No. Favorite front tire for an enduro bike? Uh, new favorite, DHR. Although, I like the Asa guy just by the name. Yeah. Asa guy. It's dope. The name's getting a lot of love. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Real life people, and some of those answers were serious, and most of them weren't. Well, there you have it. Let us know in the comments, what do you guys use for a front tire? What's your all-time favorite one and why specifically do you love it so much? Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to share this with all of your mountain bike buddies. Hit that like button and subscribe button and see you guys in the next one. Go ride your bike. Yeah, I'm an ass man.